everybody hello 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 good evening everyone how are you good evening how are you this monday this beginning of the week very nice very nice yes that's all right good one welcome diana david margarita fatima welcome brenda welcome Maria Padilla, welcome. Jennifer, welcome, guys. How was the weekend? Did you enjoy your weekend? Did you do a lot of activities? Did you go to the park? Did you visit some a special place? Or you relax at home? Yes, teacher. Yes, you relax at home. All right, very good. So welcome to one more week. Remember that we are in the week three already and it's necessary to advance in the platform. So let's continue. We have section four. And let's see the objective. Well, the name of this one first is, is this one is what does she look like? And let's see about the objective. It says that in this session, participants will learn vocabulary for describing people. We know that to describe, we need adjectives. So the first thing we will study is about general appearance. For example, we have some of here like a beautiful, pretty, elegant, handsome, cute, funny, gorgeous, ugly attractive these are just like some examples of adjectives we are going to use here in our session now let's continue with our video this will be about appearance Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary. No problem with the video? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Larry, to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. All right, so after this one, let's check here about the appearances. So we have like, look at these expressions. What are three more words or expressions to describe people? So let's have here the first one, long black hair. So long, remember, is like all right, the size of the hair. Black, including the color, and then describe the hair. Then you have this color, it's blonde. Blonde right or short blonde hair in the case of this one will be a straight black hair curly red hair curly is like this one right it has a different form than the straight very very different and also the color is different bold that means no hair bold mustache and beard have a mustache and also a beard Question in this part? Okay. Some other examples will be like this. Thing, fat. That will be the contrary. Opposite adjectives to describe here. Thing and fat. Shy. I have a question. Tell me, tell me, Wendy. In the audio, uh, one question I 
en su... Ay, no sé cómo decirle, pero... El, el punto es que eh, yo puse Mostach en, uno, en el audio y, y no me... No me... In the platform. Yes. It has to be written like this. You ah, write it like... Maybe it's for the, the writing, the spelling. Okay. This M-U-S-T-A-C-H-E. Okay. Yeah, in the platform, remember that we have to be very detailed there because for one letter, it can be the, the error there in the platform. Yes, it can. For one Thank letter. You. Thank you so much. Question about these adjectives? Okay, let's see others then. Now, when we talk about age, these are some of the adjectives to describe young, middle age. We know that young, that can be from kids, right? Like a teenager or young age. Middle age, that can be from 45 years old to 50, 55. Elderly, then we know that it is considered like a 60 years old and up. Now about looks, handsome, good looking, pretty, short, that's about the height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Question about it? Yes, teacher. Uh, what's the meaning of uh, good looking? Good looking. It means that it has a good appearance for you. Mm -hmm. That it means bien parecido. Or like when we say in El Salvador, guapo, guapo. That's good looking. <laughs> okay, thank you. My pleasure. Teacher, uh, yes. what is the meaning of fairly short? Fairly. When you talk about fairly short, this one is referring that is like very short. It's like a synonym of very. Like eh, muy bajito. So that's fairly. It's like very or so when you want to use uh, so short. Bastante bajito. Muy, muy bajito. That's fairly. What about medium height? Not very tall, not short. It's like a normal size, normal height here. Pretty tall. What's that one? Bastante alto. Uh -huh, that's good, yeah. Pretty tall, very tall. They are like synonyms. And very tall, right? That is also like this, very, very tall. Okay, now we have other adjectives in the ones, not necessarily you have to describe physical appearance, but also you can describe character and personality. For example, attentive, like when you pay attention, right, to a class, you're attentive. Calm, a pacific person, smart, or intelligent, they are synonyms. You can say smart or intelligent. Faithful, that means you can trust in that person. Pessimistic, negative person, right? Friendly, you can make friends very easy. Nervous, similar than anxious. Honest, hardworking, happy, good tempered, humble, lively. Obedient, optimistic. New adjective? I cannot understand humble. Humble. Humble is a person who is not arrogant. Humilde. Mm -hmm. That's humble. Thank you. My pleasure. What about faith? <laughs> What do you mean pessimistic? Pessimistic is similar than Spanish. It's like a you're a, a negative person. You're pessimistic. Pessimistic. Thank we you. always have a negative 
of something. You will faithful? Faithful? Faithful is an adjective that describes a person who you can trust in. Confiable. Okay. Fiel you. also means, you can also say fiel. Uh -huh. Faithful. You are a faithful person. Okay. Thank you. Lively teacher. Lively. Lively is a person who is always active. Animado. You are animated. You are active. That's lively. You Thank can you, describe, teacher. you're welcome. You can describe persons with lively, but also you can describe other things. For example, music. You know, there are like uh, many of the songs or or kind of music, they are lively. They are like, uh, they can motivate you. So they are lively. Animated. Any other one? I, mean, I, ha yes. I have a question, but it's not yes. about the, the the topic. Yes, say it. Uh, I received a message about Receiving we have message. to yeah I we have to finish the the platform platform uh -huh, yes. before before of the twentieth of this month. Yeah, on the twenty, that would be like the the last day that there that Insa Four is asking for that. Yeah. Like to finish uh, the platform. To December, we don't have classes. We don't know yet. We don't know about the, the legal or the official information for that. Oh, okay. We still don't have information. I don't so know. We, we, will, we will return to January. To January, but we don't know the information yet. We don't have official okay. information. Mm -hmm. We have to like wait. When okay. we are going to start the model three, if it's still in, in December or the next year. But we have to send the message that we are agreed about it. That you agree or that you want to continue. So if you want to continue with model three, then you need to right inform in support. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. We have other adjectives here to continue describing. This one also about personalities, naffy, proud, unhappy, lazy, dishonest, talkative, generous, untidy, hypocritical, unpleasant, disobedient. Questions? New adjective? These ones are basically like internal characteristics. Uh, naughty and... Nafi. See, naughty. Nafi is, well, normally kids are naffy. If you tell a kid, hey, don't touch that. Please don't touch it. It's mine. It has to be in order. And they come and they touch it. So they oh, like to touch okay. other things. So My what son, is... so... <laughs> okay. So what is Nafi? And... Untidy. Let's have it clear. What's naffy? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Yes. Unti untidy or untidy? Untidy. All right. Naffy untidy. would be travieso, right? Travieso or traviesa. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Untidy. If you look at the picture here, this boy does not have order in the manner that he's wearing his clothes. So that means like it has a disaster in the clothes. How would you describe that? Untidy. In disorder. Repita la, yes? repita la pronunciación. Untidy. 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 Desordenado. That's untidy. And the last one, <laughs> hypocritical. Hypocritical. Well, it, well, this one is very common actually. Imagine that you have some friends and they suppose they are your friends, but then they come with other persons and they talk about you on your back. So what's hypocritical? It's like to say critical. <laughs> it is like that, but it has another one. Hipócrita. 
that's hypocritical. Yeah, because they say that you are they are your friends and they the are talking person. about you. I'm sorry? The false person, teacher. A false person, exactly. So they are not faithful people. That's the contrary, right? Then faithful. We're talking about faithful here, that will be the opposite. So you cannot trust these people. Have you known some people like that? Has it happened all, to you? <laughs> all the people know someone that, like that. I think, yes, that they pretend that they are your friends, but on your back, they're talking about you or they smile like you, but then, and it's very dangerous. So dangerous. Any other one? Any other adjective that can be new? Oh. And not necessarily, but also it can be like a platicón. Because the other one could be like communicative, that you like to inform. Teacher. You like gossip, <laughs> basically. Teacher. Yes. Uh, Robert Wright in WhatsApp. Oh. Okay. He, he said that he cannot. Uh... Attend the class? Uh, no, no, no. He cannot enter in the, in ah, the platform. I, I think that is the new I think that is the new link to to oh, enter. Oh okay. Thank you, thank you. So he has problems to that. Okay, I'm going to write to Insafor that they can help us. Yes. Bro. All right. Well, proud. Thank you. Sorry? Proud. Thank you, William. Proud. Proud means something. Imagine that you receive a prize because you got like a, a work. When you do something great, you did a great job, you receive something like a prize and you feel proud of that. Orgulloso. <clears throat> That's proud. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Any other one? Unpleasant is like cómodo? No, that means desagradable. Okay. That's something unpleasant, something that nobody likes. For example, yes. if you observe here on the picture, the woman is talking to the man, but he's with the newspaper on the face. So that is unpleasant. It's something okay. that is not nice. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's go ahead then with... So, for example, how we can describe ourselves. In the first one, well, we have two persons who have a short conversation about it. It says, hi, Jeanette. Can you describe yourself physically? I'm tall, long black hair. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. How tall are you? I'm one meter 70. Or you can also say one meter 70 centimeters. What color are your eyes? My eyes are brown. Do you wear eyeglasses? Yes, I do. So if we notice here, we have different types of questions to investigate, right? Information about a person's physical description. You have here, like how old are you? Here, investigating about the age. If you want to investigate about the height, then you investigate like this. You ask the question, how tall are you? And then if you include another question about the color of your eyes, your hair also, there will be color or what color are your eyes? What color is your hair? Now in this one will be a yes, no question, right? Now we're going to repeat this one to practice it. Maria, can you begin? Hi, Jeanette. The microphone, Maria, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Janet. Can you describe yourself? Describe? Describe yourself physically? Physically. 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 Thank you. That's physically. good. Very good. Thank you. Fatima, continue, please. I'm, I'm tall, long, black hair. Thank you. Good. Margarita. How old are you? Great, thanks. William? Mm, 
William? I am 34 years old. Uh -huh. All right. Nice one. Thanks. Brenda. Brenda Carolina. How tall are you? How tall are you? How tall are you? Very good. Thank you. Betsaida? I'm one meter. Um, 70. 70? Uh -huh. Or? Or one meter. meter. Uh -huh. 70? Um, 70 cent. centimeter. 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 Very good. Thank you. Wilfredo, continue, please. What color are your eyes? Very good. Thank you, Selena. My eyes are brown. Great. Thanks, Ulma. Do you wear eyes glasses? Do you wear eyeglasses? Do you wear eyeglasses? Do you wear eyes glasses? Right, thank you. Eric? Yes, I do. Very good job. Nice, thanks. Okay, now let's describe ourselves. How can you describe yourself? Wendy? We're going to begin here, right? If you ask, hey, hi, Wendy, can you describe yourself physically? So you describe with your information. I tall, long. I'm, I'm tall. I'm tall, long, black hair. All right. So you're exactly like this. Are you tall? Long black hair? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Margarita, how old are you? I'm 35 years old. Very good job. Nice. Okay. William, you formulate the questions to Jennifer. Whatever I want. Uh -huh. The one that you prefer. You can ask, like, how old are you? How tall are you? Okay. Do you wear eyeglasses? Uh -huh. Do you wear eyeglasses? Jennifer, are you present? No, I am no eyeglasses. No, I don't. Or no, I don't wear eyeglasses. No, I don't know. No, I eyeglasses. don't. No, no. I, I don't wear. I don't wear eyeglasses. Eyeglasses. Very good job. That's nice. Good. Okay. Let's see. Fatima, you formulate the question to Raquel. Hi, Raquel. How tall are you? Mm -hmm. Um. I am one meter um, 68. Okay. Centimeters. Centimeters. Thank you. That's good. Yes. Daniela Beatriz. Daniela, are you present? Yes. yes. Okay. You formally the question to Diana. Jean Millet. I'm sorry? What color are your eyes? Ah, very good. What color are your eyes, Diana? My eyes are black. Are black. All right. Very good. Nice. Ready? Yeah. Okay. You ask the question to Daisy. Hello, Daisy. How are you? Hello. Um, uh, repeat, please. The question. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, how old uh, are how you? Are... How old are you? Okay. Oh, how old are you? Very okay. good. Nice. I'm 25 years old. Excellent. That's right. Thank you. David. 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 Present. Yes. Okay. Good. Estela. Are you present, Estela? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. David, then you ask the question to Estela. What color are your eyes? Your eyes. What color are your eyes? What My color eyes, are eyes are black. Are black. All right. Thank you. That's right, guys. Good one. Okay. Now we got another video. In the one, it says, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. In this one that we have, we're describing ourselves. 
Ba now, how do you describe other persons? Adjective of appearance will be practiced. Let's go ahead on this one. Here. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. All right, so this conversation is about these parts. She's very tall. I'll read it, then we're going to practice too. It's about Emily and Randy. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two. That's to indicate the centimeter, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? And how old is she? No, oh, sorry, here is what? She has a beautiful red hair. Yeah, if you look at her hair, it's red color. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Now, do you have some new vocabulary? Gorgeous, mm -hmm. teacher. What Which it one? is? I'm sorry. Gorgeous, Randy. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous Gor means like marvelous, maravilloso. Can be maravilloso, maravillosa. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Marvelous is maravilloso, teacher. Uh huh. Yes, they are ma synonyms. Ma mar marble. Ah, marble is a noun. It's like maravilla. Ah, so when you say, thank... oh, it's a marble. Es thank, una maravilla. You, thank you. But that one is the noun and marvelous is the adjective that you use the, to describe a subject. It's like when you say beautiful is the adjective, but also exists the noun that is beauty. Beauty, that means belleza. Beautiful is the description, is the adjective. Thank you, thank words? you. You're welcome. Any other words? Supons. Which one? Uh, I suppose. No sé, no oh, sé. I suppose. This one. Supongo. Yes. I suppose. Supongo. Okay, thank you. That means suppose. Welcome. All right. Let's practice yes. it. Is other say is other way to say uh, I guess. Oh yeah, sure. You can use it. Actually, it's more common to use I guess than I suppose. They are synonyms. All right, let's begin. Eric, you begin, please. I hear. Eric? I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Thank you. Continue, Freddie, please. Yes, her name is Ashley. And she is Gorgus. 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 Thank you. Continue, Selena. Really? Excuse me. Really? Uh -huh. What does she look like? Thank you. That's good. Continue, Brenda, please. Well, she's very tall. Right. Thank you. Jennifer? Jennifer, sorry. How, how tall? 
Good. How tall? Nice. Daisy. Daisy. Yes. About about six feet. Six feet. Uh -huh. Two. I suppose. Very good. Thank you, Daniela. Daniela Beatriz. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? Really her good. Hair. Her hair. Very good. Thank you, Pablo. She has beautiful red hair. Really good. Thank you, Claudia Carolina. And how all all is she? Is she very good? Thanks, David. I don't know. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Estela, now you begin. I hear. I hear you have a new girlfriend. A new, a new girlfriend. A new girlfriend. Ready. Randy. Randy. Very good. Thank you. Andrea de Los Angeles. Yes, her name's Ashley and she's gorgeous. Very good. Thank you. Sandy. Really? What does she look like? That is all right. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. Wendy Adamaris. Ever? Ever Jaciel? All right, Wendy. Go ahead. Wendy Adamaris. Wendy? Hello? Yes? Well? Hello, Wendy, can you listen? Well, she's very tall. Very good. Okay, we can hear. Yes, there is some interference, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Marvin? Can you continue, please? How tall? How tall? Very good. Thank you. German. German? German Ulysses? Yes. All right. About six? About six feet. True. E. I? I. I suppose. 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 That's good. I suppose. I suppose. Very good. Thank you. That's nice. Let's continue. Claudia, please. Claudia? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is tall. What color is her hair? Her hair. Her hair. Very good. Thank you. Freddie, continue, please. Uh, she has? Beautiful. Beautiful? Red hair. Red hair. That's good. Yes. William. And how old is she? That's all right. Good one. Fatima. I don't know. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. Yeah. That's supposedly right. Women don't want to say they are aged. <laughs> okay. Any question about this? So notice that here was description about a third person, about a third person here. Now, let's have some more exercises about it. For example, here we get, my best friend Fatima is really talkative. We know, talkative, right? That she likes to have conversations. Now, so we have others here. He's really tall. We know that really it puts more emphasis on the adjective. It means very, very tall. He's short. It will be this height. He's a little heavy. Heavy. That means no thing, not a thin person. This case will be he's thin, the opposite than fat or heavy. He's handsome, right? If you consider like physically the person is handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. A nice appearance. She's really friendly. Makes friends very, very easily. 
He's serious. Yes, very serious. Now, in this one will be, he's funny. Normally, clowns, they are funny. That will be the personality. He's shy. Or he's quiet. Do you have a new adjective here? Quiet. Quiet. Quiet, it means like a, a calm person. Tranquilo. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Any other one? She is shy. Oh, shy. Shy, if you notice here in the picture, she doesn't want to get out. Timid. That's a timid person. Any other one? Talkative. I'm sorry? Talkative. Talkative is the person who likes to make conversation a lot. Do you have some? Ajá, correct. We say here at the Salvo, so For example, when you are, a, if you travel by bus, sometimes you find people and then they are talkative. They like to make conversations. So they are not like, like a shy person, right? They are not shy and they are not quiet. They are not calm. They always like to make conversations of whatever. What is she or shy? This one, shy. Shy means yeah. timid, timido or timida. Okay. Uh, the pronunciation is shy. Shy, shy, shy. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other one? Any new other adjective? Miss good looking is como beautiful. It's similar than that. Because you can say that, uh, for example, here is divided. When you talk about handsome, it's a description you use only for men. If you talk about pretty or beautiful, you can talk about the appearance of a woman. But if you talk about, in general, good looking, that means, ay, bien parecido. El guapo es guapa. <laughs> so you can use for both. Good looking se puede utilizar para ambos, tanto femenino o masculino. Pero eh, ya para dividirlos, handsome es, se utiliza más que todo solo para hombres. En pretty, para mujeres, para describirlas. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? All right, then let's go ahead here. On the next example we have, Christine is very good looking. Catherine's a little serious. Mr. Watson is fairly quiet. Sophia is really shy. Now, we're going to read them. Marvin, can you begin? The best one, please. My, my best, best friend. friend, my best friend Fatima is really talkative. Excellent, that's right. Wendy Adamaris? <clears throat> good looking. Very good. Thank you. Sandy. Catherine's a little serious. Catherine's a little serious. Okay. Catherine a little serious. Very good. If you start here, we have Catherine apostrophe S. And this one is making a contraction of Catherine is. So there is the verb to be just to make a contraction. So it's like if you say, uh, she's a little serious. Thank you. Good. Claudia. Claudia Carolina. Mr. Watson is fairly cute. Fairly? 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 Fairly, uh -huh. fairly cute. Quiet. quiet. Fairly quiet. Very good. Yes. Nice. Okay. Remember that fairly it's like so quiet, like bastante, bastante calmado. It's to put more emphasis on it. Thank you, Estela. Estela Guadalupe. Sofia is really shy. Very good job. Nice. Okay, so let's observe. What are the adjectives in the first example? Tell me, what is the adjective? Talkative. 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 Excellent. Very good. And what are we using to emphasize? 
to emphasize really, really excellent. So you can also say, my best friend Fatima is talkative. Oh, that's okay. But if you want to put more emphasis on that description, then you can put this one is an adverb, really talkative. That's nice. Good. What about the second one? Christine is very good looking. What is the adjective? Good looking. Good looking, good looking right? That's correct. What are we using to put more emphasis? Very. Good. Very. Very. Uh -huh. very, good. very? Uh -huh. very. That's good. Very, it puts more emphasis on the description or on the adjective. The next one, Catherine's a little serious. What's the adjective? Serious. 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 Excellent. What can we use to put more emphasis? Little. 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 A little, right? Where you can use or use like a quantifier to say, okay, it's not a lot serious. It's not very serious. It's just a little serious. And the next one is Mr. Watson is fairly quiet. What's the adjective? Quiet. 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 Perfect. That's good. Fairly, we use it to emphasize, to use like so quiet, very, very quiet. And the last one will be Sophia is really shy. What's the adjective? Shy. 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 That's all right. Put more emphasis with the adverb. Really. really. That means very, very shy. Correct. Okay. Any question about this? We're going to describe oh, yes. also. No? Okay, no. first, we need to pass the list, guys. So, please, let me know that you are present. All right, let's begin with Andrea. Andrea de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you. It's Saida Jasmine. Present. Thank you. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thanks. David Moises. Present. Thank you, David. Daisy um, Estefania. Present. Thank you so much. Diana Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Ever Jaciel. Ever. Ever put in the chat, right, that he's present. Eric Ronaldo. Present, Miss. Thank you, Eric. Estela Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fatima Larisa. Hear me. Thank you. Freddy Ernesto. Thank you, Freddy. Germán Ulises. Present. Thank you, Germán. Jennifer Saraí. Present. Thank you, Jennifer. Julia Margarita. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Mercedes. Present, miss. Thank you so much. Marvin Vitalicio. Marvin, Present. thank you, Present, Marvin. Thank you. Pablo Alejandro. Thank you so much. Raquel Esther. Present teacher. Thank you. Roberto Carlos is present. He said he has problem with the, the with the access, right? Okay. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you so much. Wendy Adamaris. Wendy Adamaris. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Selena Jamilet. Present me. Thanks, Amat. Zulma Natividad. I'm here. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, let's go ahead on the next part.
Okay, we were giving there the description. Now, you are going to select a person. It can be a relative, it can be a friend, maybe a co-worker, a classmate, but you're going to describe this person. Let's see, who wants to begin? Volunteer. Uh -huh. Tell me. Ca uh, Claudia, right? Claudia? Yes. Yeah, right. Claudia Carolina. But yes, I, I put it in the attendance, in the list. Don't worry. Yes, because I, I remember I saw you there connected. Thank you. Miss? Tell me. Can you repeat the structure? Yeah, sure. That you are going to select a person. It can be maybe a member of your family, a friend, a co-worker, a classmate, and you're going to describe it. It's like follow the examples here. So if you want to talk about your best friend, for example, and you want to describe, you say, okay, my best friend, Carlos, for example, is really shy. Describe it. Okay. okay. And uh, only a sen one sentence or? No, you can continue describing more. Give more information. Okay. Can I take um, my son? Mm, very good. Go ahead. My son, Rodrigo, mm -hmm. is... Seven years old. Ah, seven years he, old. All right. Yeah. That's right. He, Good one. He's very tall. Mm -hmm. He's very tall. And he's, uh, he's talkative. He's talkative, all right. <laughs> yeah. That's good, right? They know a lot yeah. of things. They have and a lot of information. Yeah. And, and he's um, really friendly. He's really friendly. That means he has a lot of friends. Yes, yes. That is good. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. That's cool. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Good. Uh, David. David Moises. Estela. Yes. Mm -hmm. Estela. Select a person, please, to describe. Teacher me mencionó a mí. Sorry? Me mencionó. Yes. You describe ah. a person, the person that you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. My best friend mm -hmm. is... Dark and cheese. Um, it's tall. Thin. It's tall? Yes. yes. Okay. She's mm -hmm. thin. She's uh -huh. very shy. Um, She's very shy. Yes. Shy? Okay. Uh, my boyfriend is um, uh, very pretty. Very? Pretty. Pretty? Uh huh. Yes. Very pretty. Mm. What else? Um, How old is she? How old is she? Um, uh, she's um, 18. 18? Yes. Okay, oh. very good job. Thank you, Stella. Really good. Thanks. William, continue. Oh, about my friend. Okay, go ahead. Okay, she's tiny. All right. And she's tall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's tall. And she had long black hair. She has long black hair. Yes. Long black hair. Yeah. Long right. black. Black hair. Okay. 
How old is she? Uh, she's 20 years old. 20 years old. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Good. Let's continue then. Selena. Hi, me. Hey, Selena. Uh, my mom. Ah, very good. Continue. My mom is a small. It's short. Uh, short. Uh, short. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm very hungry. Really? Very angry? <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> She's not next to you, right? <laughs> okay. What else? She has short black hair. Okay. She has short black hair. Mm -hmm. What else? How old is she? She's 50. She's 50? Three. Years old. 53 years old. Very good, Selena. Thank you so much. Good. Wilfredo, continue. Uh, I have a co-worker mm -hmm. uh, who is very fat and tall. Okay. He really, uh, he really likes technology. How oh, good. Mm -hmm. He likes technology devices. He's always uh, actualizing. Yes. Okay. Great. What else? Uh, and I have a co-worker who is very, very thin. Very thin, okay. Mm -hmm. Tall and short or short. Uh, um, he's average. Ah, okay. Average. He's average. Okay. Average height. Mm -hmm. Average height, correct. Height. So mm -hmm. not tall and not very short. It's like a normal height. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. That's all right. Good. Let's continue. Maria, please. My son mm -hmm. is really tall. He's really tall. Okay. He's um, Very quiet. Quiet. He's very quiet. quiet. Yes. Very good. Very He's quiet. very quiet. Great. Uh, is um intelligent. Very good. He's you intelligent. Mean? Yes, that's correct. Uh, see, is his um he is a uh, really really. Really friendly. Really friendly. Yeah. Really friendly. Very good, Maria. Thank you. That's good. Margarita, continue, please. Well, I'm going to talk about my boyfriend. Go ahead. Uh, he's very tall. Right. He has blonde hair, blue eyes, and he has a beard. Normally, he is very quiet, but he's very talkative when he's drunk. Okay, <laughs> that's normal, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Very good job. Thank you. That's nice. Continue beside that, please. Very good. Okay, my best friend, Beatrice. Okay. He is a little short. <laughs> okay, she's yeah. a little short. All right. She, she's... A uh, straight uh -huh. and blonde hair. Okay. A straight? A straight. Uh, uh -huh. Ah, okay. Straight? And what and, the color? You mentioned the color, right? And blonde hair. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Now, when you talk about the color of the hair, like here. When you talk about a woman, then you say blondie. Blondie. Oh, uh -huh, okay. Correct. She's blondie, or you can also say she has blondie hair. So this, it, it changed a little bit in the description. For the man, it's, it's blonde, but for the woman, then it's blondie. Okay. Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Um, she's 28 years old. Okay. And she lives in... She lives? She lives in Germany. 
In German, they, hey, that's yeah. good. Does she visit you? Um, next year. Next year, she's <laughs> going to do it. Okay, nice. You must be excited. Very good. Thank <laughs> you, Saida. That's good. Eric, continue, please. My sister Fatima is really oh, short. Okay. My best friend is bum. My best friend? My best friend is very fun. Okay, very funny. Oh, funny, exactly. Yes. Yes. What else? My teacher of English is very intelligent. All right, thank you for that description. <laughs> English teacher. You say English, English teacher. Teach. Very good. Thank you, Eric. That's really nice. Great. Sunba, continue, please. Uh, I will describe my best friend. Go ahead. Nice. Uh, she's very short. That's right. And she, she has here she has? curly hair. Ah, curly, curly hair. Curly hair. Yeah, curly hair. And she's a uh, black skin mm -hmm. and uh, but uh, she is very smart intelligent very very intelligent very intelligent very intelligent and she's quiet mm -hmm. but i love my best friend because she's very talkative with mm -hmm. A lot of people. Nice. And so you. Yeah. And and in my case, I am very shy. All right, very shy. Yeah, but uh, she is a good person. Really good job. Thank you. That's nice. Good. Just one detail here. She has dark skin. Instead of saying black, we can use dark. Contrary, then when we say she or he, right, also can be. She has light skin. It's like about the tone of your skin. So if you say, for example, in this one, dark skin is piel de tono oscuro. So don't use black. You use dark. In the case of we don't say white, right? You don't say I am white, <laughs> but you can say light skin. Es piel de tono claro. So you can use it in, in that manner. Good it's one. Brilliant. That would be, it's a little dark. Little, little dark. Because it's like a, it's not dark skin and it's not light skin. It's like in the middle or average. You can also say average, average skin. Let's go on then. Daniela. Daniela Beatriz. Yes. Hello. All right. We listen to your description. Uh, my sister Nicole. Uh, she is little thin. A little thin. She is really friendly. Nice. Uh, she is really, really talkative. Wow, that's good. Yes? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank nice you. one. Jennifer. Jennifer Sarai. <coughs> Daisy? No, todavía no. Daisy? No, mi amor. Um, my brother. All right. My brother is tall and a very, uh, how do you say, well, extrovert. Ah, oh, extroverted. Extroverted. Mm -hmm, good. And talking. Talkative. Talking. Uh -huh. And talking. Uh -huh. He's uh, funny. Funny. All right, funny. that's good. Uh -huh. So you're never bored with a person like that, right? It always makes you laugh. 
<laughs> and also, exactly. yeah, that's true. And you also uh, always have something to talk about with this kind of people. Very good. Thank you. Good. Wendy Beatriz? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, Can you help me? Um, I talk about my first daughter. My first daughter. Is ah, your, your, your first daughter. Yes, daughter. Uh -huh. Very good. Go ahead. She's really talkative. Nice. Um, but always, always, always is very serious. She's always very serious. Okay, yes. nice. She's always very serious. Yes, she yes. has three years old. She is three years old. Yes, sure. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Very good job, guys. Great. Okay, look, here we describe, but tomorrow we are going to continue describing. And also, I will send you more videos about this. Do you have any question? No I'm sorry? I have a question. Yes. Say How Jennifer. do you say uh, cabello ondulado? In ah, English. that will be wavy. Wavy hair. Okay, thank you. Ondulado. So it's different than curly, right? wavy hair. Any other question? All right, guys, then I wish you to have a very, very beautiful night. Sweet dreams. We'll continue tomorrow. Remember to advance in the platform, please. Thank you so okay. much for attending the class. Okay, Thank you for your participation. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very Thank you, much. Teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a I great see you tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow, guys.